Get ready for the heart-wrenching tale of Julian Gautier, a passionate musician and adventurer who met his tragic end in the jaws of a ferocious grizzly bear deep in the Canadian wilderness. This gripping story will take you on a roller coaster ride of emotions as we unravel the shocking details of this spine chilling encounter. But before that, hit the like and subscribe buttons. This is Fierce. Out in the wilderness, there's nothing quite like the thrill and challenge of exploring nature. Nature enthusiasts become one with the environment, using it to their advantage to capture its beauty and essence. But in the blink of an eye, nature can quickly turn into their worst nightmare, with explorers becoming the prey. The tables can turn at any moment, leaving them vulnerable and defenseless against the dangers lurking in the shadows. The wilderness is a place of both beauty and terror, and for nature enthusiasts, the line between the two is often razor thin. Grizzly bears, also known as North American brown bears, are one of the largest land carnivores in the world. They are native to Canada and can be found in various parts of the country, from the coastal rainforests of British Columbia to the Arctic tundra of Nunavut. Grizzly bears are characterized by their distinctive hump on their shoulders, which is made up of muscles used for digging. They have long, sharp claws that are perfect for digging and catching prey. Grizzly bears are also known for their adorable appearance, with their furry coats and cute faces that can make anyone want to hug them. However, these bears can be incredibly dangerous, especially when they feel threatened or provoked. As a composer and sound man, Mr. Gautier had always thought to capture the essence of nature in his music. He always wanted to create something truly unique and inspiring. His latest project was an ambitious one, to canoe down the Mackenzie River from Fort Providence to Inuvik, a journey spanning over 1,500 kilometers, or 930 miles. It was a dream he had been nurturing for years, a testament to his unbridled enthusiasm for the great outdoors and the music it inspired. Accompanied by biologist Camille Toscani, Mr. Gautier had set out to capture the sounds of nature for his latest musical project. The trip was meant to be a celebration of his love for the natural world, a chance to immerse himself in the vast, untamed wilderness of Canada's Northwest Territories. His destination was the Mackenzie River in the remote Northwest Territories of Canada, a place known for its stunning landscapes and abundant wildlife. But tragically, his dream was cut short. On a cloudy August morning, Julian Gautier woke up feeling excited to explore the beautiful wilderness around Tulita. He had always been fascinated by the diverse flora and fauna of the region and was thrilled to be embarking on this adventure with his colleague Camille Toscani, a renowned biologist. Little did they know that this day would turn out to be one of the most terrifying experiences of their lives. As they slept soundly in their tents, the forest was teeming with life. Birds chirped, insects buzzed, and the rustling of leaves filled the air. But amidst this tranquil symphony of nature, a deadly predator was lurking in the shadows, watching and waiting for the perfect moment to strike. The peace was shattered by a thunderous growl. Julian and Camille jolted awake, their hearts racing with fear as they realized they were under attack. Without warning, a massive grizzly bear launched itself at them, unleashing its fury with a ferocity that left them stunned. The animal had been silent, stealthily creeping up to their tents before launching a surprise attack on the unsuspecting travelers. Julian and Camille tried to fight back, but the bear was too powerful, sinking its teeth and claws into Julian's flesh with ruthless precision. According to Toscani, Mr. Gautier had been dragged away by the animal while he was asleep. Camille Toscani was left helpless, watching in horror as the bear dragged Mr. Gautier away. The biologist was shaken to the core, paralyzed by fear and unable to do anything to stop the brutal attack. The sound of Mr. Gautier's screams echoed through the forest, a haunting reminder of the sheer terror of the moment. The animal was relentless tearing into the musician's flesh with a ferocity that was both shocking and terrifying. The attack was over as quickly as it had begun, leaving Camille Toscani alone in the wilderness with the haunting memories of the night. It was a tragedy that had struck deep 
a stark reminder of the raw power and danger of the wild. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police received a distress signal from the Toledo region of the Mackenzie River early on August 15. Soon it was found that Mr. Gautier and a biologist named Camille Toscani had been attacked in the middle of the forest by a grizzly bear. The news of the attack sent shockwaves through the remote community, which relied on air and sea transportation to access the area. The RCMP immediately dispatched a helicopter to search for Mr. Gautier and evacuate the travelers. The dense forest and rugged mountains presented numerous challenges to the search and rescue team. Despite the difficult conditions, the team remained focused on their mission, determined to find Mr. Gautier and bring him to safety. Finally, after hours of searching, the team discovered Mr. Gautier's lifeless body. The tragedy had struck deep, leaving the community in shock and mourning the loss of a talented musician and nature lover. The loss of Julian Gautier is a reminder of the unpredictability of nature and the importance of taking precautions when venturing into the wild. Despite his years of experience and his deep love for the natural world, he fell victim to one of its most fearsome predators. But even in the face of tragedy, we can find solace in the memory of Mr. Gautier's unwavering passion for adventure and his ability to find beauty in even the harshest of environments. His music and his spirit will live on, a testament to the enduring power of art and the natural world. As we reflect on his life and legacy, let us honor his memory by embracing our own sense of adventure and pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. Let us be inspired by his bravery and his unwavering commitment to his dreams, even in the face of danger. And most importantly, let us never forget the power and beauty of the natural world even in its most treacherous moments. The memory of Julian Gautier will continue to remind us of the awe-inspiring majesty of the world around us and the importance of cherishing every moment we have in it. Thank you for joining us as we remembered the life and legacy of Julian Gautier. If you found this video informative and moving, we encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you in the next one.